We are in an era of dynamic change, accelerated change. And my, and my first challenge for you is to disrupt yourself before your competition does. Are you ready to do that? Again, I've got to work much harder at this crowd. Yeah, disrupting yourself means you think about who's disrupting themselves today, yeah? There was an era, there was a time when many companies were afraid to disrupt themselves because they were afraid of letting go of products or services that were successful now. But what they did was they lagged, they stopped. And what happened is that new players in the game, in this era of hyper competition, came in and created new innovations. And these new innovations changed the game. Personal computers disrupted mainframes. We have even companies today that we talk about and we use, like Uber. Uber is disrupting itself, its own business model, by now experimenting with self-driving cars, cars that are automatic, that have artificial intelligence, that don't need humans. Think about that. My forecast, and I'm going to make a series of bold forecasts, is that you will see within the next three to five years, you will see entire cities, you will see entire regions, you will see entire routes that will be dominated by driverless cars. And you will see companies, not just Uber, leverage, change, morph their business models to take advantage of driverless cars. Is that an opportunity for you? It's not about the driverless car. It's not about the human missing from the car. It's about thinking about the network and how we create digital change. So disrupt yourself before your competition does. You want to make a transition or you want to help make a transition from a culture or a mindset at your organization or even your team that is based on being a maintainer and a traditionalist which resists innovation, resists the conversation about change and embracing innovation, to one being more adaptive, willing to learn new things, willing to experiment, willing to explore. Are you willing to do that? Because these are not just words. This, is, this takes action. This takes commitment. This takes, are you willing to do this? Are you willing to try this? What do you think? This is the interactive part of the presentation. Hey. Yeah, I'm giving you the tips from the secrets of how to be innovative. It starts within you. It starts within your mind. It's not just the next technology. How will it delight the customer? How will it transform the conversation customers have about seeing something new? How will it transform employees? How will it transform you? You have to start with yourself. How open to change are you? How open to learning new things? Because this is, in our research, the key ingredient if you're going to explore. Who is driving innovation, you think, really? You think it's the biggest companies in the world? Ah, they're part of the game. I advise most of them. Yes, the Microsofts, the Amazons, the Googles, the Baidus, the banks, HSBC, lots of folks. Yeah. But it's really the customer that's driving change. You want to get in sync with the customer. You don't want to be playing catch-up with the customer. You don't want to be playing catch-up. You don't want to be left behind by others that move faster than you. So the notion of innovation agility is really important. This is something you take back to talk about with your team. You put on a whiteboard, innovation agility. What do we need to do to move faster? What do we need to do to be in sync with the innovation agility that will delight our customers? What is it that they want that will solve a problem or delight them in ways that nobody else is doing. By the way, this is the secret of being really innovative. This is not just an interesting idea. We are in the midst of a transformation. It's an economic and business transformation. And it's not just about digital technologies. But radical innovation is the only competitive advantage. And innovators lead change. This is your job. If you're here at Wobi, you're really here because you already are a leader and you're here to lead change. This is not just a conversation to have a good time. This is a conversation to transform things. And the mandate to be leading that charge is going to have to do with 
having an innovation strategy, before you leave here today, you should think about, what is my innovation strategy? What is it that I want to do differently? What is it that we want to do? Do you want to go ahead and learn new things? Do you want to create new collaborations, new channels? What are the new technologies you may hear from me that you want to experiment with, maybe contact a university or go online? What, are the, what is your innovation strategy? Because if you are not refreshing your innovation strategy every single month, if you're not doing that, you're missing out on something. This is a global connected innovation ecosystem. You ready to play in this game? So there are four keys I'll leave you with about the innovator's mindset, and then we'll talk about some of these technologies. Disrupt yourself first. Disrupt yourself first before others do. Use data to figure out, you know, what are the predictive insights? What are the ways we need to change things? What do we notice that customers are having a struggle with? What do we notice that customers are not happy with? What's missing? What's missing? Create an innovation strategy. It has, innovation strategy has Three objectives, delight the customer, integrate new technologies, cr solve problems, create new solutions, create an innovation strategy. Set up a, a future lab that you can experiment and, and understand. And maybe you set up a future lab, but you also you invite in people from outside the community, you pay attention to what's happening. And we're in the midst of this transformation that's being driven by innovation. The fourth industrial revolution, machine intelligence, artificial intelligence. What's next for robotics, drones, digital technology, social media has completely transformed marketing. Traditional marketing is dead. We're at the end of medicine. Why? Because we're creating predictive medicine. We're in a time of dynamic change, but there's dynamic opportunities. In fact, there's more opportunities to be inventive, to make money, to be creative than not. So when I say the word disruption, I'm talking about ways of you creating this innovation agility.